Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the ideal OPAM using the LTSPICE simulation tool. Uh, before that, we must understand that what is an ideal OPAM. The figure depicts an ideal OPAM where the input impedance is denoted as Rn and doesn't allow any current to flow into it. Ideally, the op-amp input impedance must be infinite and the output impedance of the op-amp is denoted as RO. RO ensures that the output voltage of the op-amp remains the same for any value of load resistance which is connected to it. Ideally, the output impedance of the op-amp must be zero. When we look into the open loop voltage gain of an ideal op-amp, it has to be infinite. Then the difference between the two input can be applied by an ideal op-amp to infinity. For an ideal op-amp, there is zero output voltage for zero input voltage. Then the input offset voltage is zero. The bandwidth of an ideal op-amp is infinite and it can amplify both the DC and the AC signal. The output voltage of op-amp changes immediately with change in the input voltage. So uh, let us start working on uh, simulation of the ideal op-amp using LTSPICE. So first click on the component and uh, we have to select an voltage controlled current source. Click OK position this component in the schematic click escape click on the resistor and place the resistor in the schematic next we require the ground connection so click on ground and escape now we have to define our uh, inputs. So for an ideal op-amp, we require uh, inverting and a non-inverting terminal and then we out. So go to label net here, type V in or type as input. Click OK and position this. Similarly, we have to do for V non-inverting terminal. So V non-inverting input, okay, position it, escape, go to label net again, click on V out and define this as output click ok and position this now right click on R1 and define this as 1 ohm click on wire join Join this ground now. 
now we have completed our schematic for the ideal op-amp click escape and right click on this and define the gain value as 1 exponential of 6 that is uh, 10 to the power of 6 click ok now uh, we have completed our schematic now we have to save this particular schematic so go to files save as so I'll save this as ideal opam now since we have completed our schematic now we have to convert the schematic into a symbol go to hierarchy create new symbol go to draw and click on line drag this and make this as a form of a rectangle or any symbol which you would desire but we have to define the v in v not v in inverting terminal on inverting terminal and v out so now click escape go to edit add pin and port now we require uh, v inverting v non inverting and v out so v in click ok and position this particular pin similarly go to edit add pin and port define the label now as v non inverting go to edit add pin and port v out now click on line and complete this draw line escape go to draw line escape now we have completed our uh, symbol so we have to save the symbol so file save as now uh, one thing which you have to remember is uh, save this particular symbol uh, in in the LT spice library itself so in library uh, symbol and I have created a folder called as my symbols okay so save this particular symbol and ensure that this particular symbol name matches with the schematic name what we had given so it has to be ideal underscore op amp okay save this so now we have completed our symbol we have to next uh, check the transient analysis for our ideal op amp so click on new schematic okay now go to components here we have to open this particular ideal underscore opam symbol click ok and position this particular symbol on the schematic now we have to define uh, now we have to complete the circuit for uh, our ideal opam right so what we have to do is that uh, click on resistor so we require three resistor 
one which would act as a load and place these resistors okay click escape we also require a ground and voltage source okay so make the connections with the wire Three to V one. This to the ground and V non inverting terminal to the ground. Okay. Now we have to define the value for our R one, R two, and R three. So right click, define this as one one kilo ohm. Right click, 500 ohm. Right click, and this one is 500 ohm. Okay. Now we have to define the voltage source. So right click on the voltage source. Go to Advanced. Okay. Define the sign. DC offset as zero. Amplitude as 5 millivolt frequency as 1 kilohertz okay so we have defined all the parameters now we have to perform the transient analysis so go to edit click on spice analysis and we have to do the transient analysis so just define the uh, stop time as formally and position this now uh, go to file save as this has to be ideal open circuit save okay now let us run the simulation now click on this probe which is your input to the non-inverting terminal and click on V out so thank you for watching this tutorial I hope that uh, this would help in your learning experience of LT Spice tool uh, request you to subscribe uh, this particular channel for more videos thank you